Hey friend, I am so glad you're here so that we can unbox this amazing stationery order together. I bought some collage papers, some memo papers, pet tapes, washi tapes, tickets, stickers, all kinds of wonderful things with my own money from Paper Game, one of my favorite stationery stores. And after I put the purchase through, I asked them if they'd be willing to give my viewers a discount code if they would like to shop as well and they were kind enough to do so so if you would like to buy any of the things you see in this video from paper game you can do so with my code notably emily for 10 percent off your first purchase and that would also give me a little bit of money to go toward my next stationary purchase which would be awesome all right let's get started a big box and they have their postcard here that has paper game on it it's so cute and their information you can find them at papergame.co or at papergame.co on instagram look at all of those beautiful goodies in there i did open this to organize it a little bit and make sure that everything is accounted for and it is plus a little extra so i'm excited to go through that with you and start with this this is looks like a little freebie kit they usually send a freebie with every purchase and since i made such a large one i think they added a few extra things which is very exciting so we have some beautiful decorative yarn looks like it's different textures and colors which is really nice some pet tape samples super cute i'll definitely be using these and all kinds of papers and tickets memos really cute and some larger papers of this label as well and some Mew Mew Beam collage papers these are so cute that was very kind of paper game to send those over I got these really thick tape samples I believe they're by Muka Studio, and I'll have everything linked down below as well in order that I show it. So I loved these tapes when they first came out with them, and I wasn't fast enough purchasing a whole roll. Honestly, they're huge, so maybe it's for the best, but I did get a couple of samples because I thought the imagery was really cute. And I definitely will use every single one of these things probably very quickly. Here's another Mooka Studio tape sample. I just, I love these so much. I definitely think if I get through these pretty quickly, I might look for full rolls. I don't know if Paper Game will be restocking the full rolls, but I know that they still have samples available. Sometimes that's the way to go. We also have these two smaller pet tape samples in here. This one was so gorgeous with all the different animals and the details and the foxes, the giraffes, the rainbow, the squirrels. <laughs> I thought they were so cute. I didn't think I'd use a whole roll of this though, so I think this sample is definitely the way to go. Here's another one. This one is mushroom and like hobby theme. There's like some letters and some packages and sheet music. Looks like some flowers and letter writing, paper bundles. So I thought that would be really cute for my pen pal letters specifically. So here's this pet tape. I loved the mushrooms and how wide it was, the bigger pieces, and the smaller details as well. Lots of papers and ribbons, 
I really liked these tickets with the mushrooms on them. The camera, the little <laughs> frames, and this just goes on forever. Here's another pet tape. I thought this one would be really beautiful because it has a lot of neutral tones, hydrangeas, which I love, and butterflies and some ephemera little looking pieces. This one is also a one meter repeat. Next, I have a bunch of washi tapes that I bought. Most of them are ticket themed and from Miu Miu Beam. I thought they would be so cute and so versatile. Here they are without the packaging on them. They're super cute. I really love the ticket style and the two different types of tickets. Also, these kind of look like stamps, so that is really cute. This free one is also adorable and the little die cuts as well. So thank you, Paper Game, for adding that into my order for free. Here is one of the Mew Mew Beam ticket tapes. It's like half and half neutral and a, and a white. It's really cute. I'll definitely be using that a lot. I use a lot of tickets. Here is the stamp themed and also it looks like a ticket too, a little bit. Lily of the Valley washi tape by Mew Mew Beam. I really loved the green and white and I did a Lily of the Valley themed pen pal letter a few weeks ago and I was really inspired by this tape as well for that theme even though it's done now I'll definitely be using this a lot here's another one of the straight edge tickets I think it's this one actually this one is more like a nighttime theme and it's thinner but the blue and white is so cute oh I just thought it was adorable so this is a great pairing for the other thin one that I got. And finally, another stamp and sort of ticket themed in one from Mew Mew Beam as well. It's definitely more ticket-like Mew ticket stamp. <laughs> Pretty simple there, but I really love that. And it would be really easy to just cut off the one that you want and add it into your spread and because it's white and black mostly it'll go with pretty much everything so that's awesome all right now we have some memos and tickets and there's more coming as well i got these papers they come in three colors and they have the times months and days of the week and dates along that Thought it was a really cool long thin shape and you could add it to a spread and actually mark off the date which i thought would be really cool another one that has three different colors as well the brown the more cream color and the white and it has moon phases and times of day and pm and the date as well so functional and really cute and nice to have when layering and there there's quite a lot of them this is a 100 memo pad of these tickets, round ticket, single ticket, return ticket, and a really cute little stamp on it. So I'll probably just cut whichever one I want to use, or you can use the whole thing at once. There's quite a lot of them. Here is some more memos. These ones are quite a bit bigger, which is really nice. It'd be really great for background collage pieces. So this one has some leaves and branches and on human survival which i thought was really interesting these ones are more of a brown cream and travel themed searching for treasure thought that was really cute and you could definitely cut it in half or whatever you want to use it for um, so it makes it pretty versatile they are you know quite big i have some more tickets retro series antique ticket and i love the purple background i thought that was so different and there's quite a lot of them and they're double-sided which i didn't know you could use either side for your spread so that's pretty cool usually they're only one-sided in the waiting room keep quiet I'm like fair enough i got these 
admit to the moon tickets. Again, I like the purple and pink. I thought that was different. You usually don't see tickets in these colors and I thought the designs were so unique and different. I also got this memo set and it's really cool because the pages are perforated. There's different colors and styles and the idea is you take your own stamps and stamp it onto the paper and then it looks like official stamps because you can then punch out each piece and use it as a little stamp. So I thought that was so cool and they have different sizes and colors and things like that in the set. So I want to use my stamps more, my rubber stamps more, and I thought that was a really cool way to do it. And then you can make your own custom stamps. So I'm really excited to try these. I also got some collage papers and labels. These ones are different sizes and you can punch out whichever size you'd like. So the middle one is more of a label and the outer two are frames. I have one kind from Classic Key and I thought it would switch it up with some of the shapes. I've also seen some other people on YouTube and Instagram use these a lot so I thought I'd pick up a couple. And I was also looking for more just general collage paper. They have different designs and sizes, but they're not too big, which is perfect. And you get a few of each, which is really nice. So that will help with collaging and whatnot. It's always good to have things like that. I got some really cute note papers that I'm very excited to use and collage with. The first one I want to show you is Special Material Notes by Jenny Yuanzi. These are so cute and different and the paper has this beautiful texture to it. There's different symbols and designs on them and each of the designs comes on each of the different types of paper. So I saw these and they're neutral and texture is really cool. And I just thought it would be amazing, especially these ones for little collages and things like that. So they're very neutral, which means you can do almost anything with them. And they came in this really cute little box. Next I have this retro note paper and these ones are like little stamp blanks. Look at how cute. Noticing tickets and stamps basically that sums up this whole haul. <laughs> but you can use your own stamps and stickers and collage with these and they're different sizes, different colors and there's so many of them. I also got these ones. They are Life Hollow small card that you fold together. So they have all different colors and you could put a sticker or something inside and then fold it like this. And it's a cute little frame. So you could leave it like that and have it be something interactive on a journal spread or in a pen pal letter and they could actually open it up. <laughs> or you could just keep it like this and glue it down and have that dimension there. So I thought those were so cool. I'd never seen anything like them before. And I got the square and rectangular ones. They're so cute and just different. So be pretty fun to use. I have some tickets as well as some labels that I'm excited to use. These tickets, I bought a set of these before and used them all really quickly, so I bought another set. I believe they come on larger rolls, but Paper Game sells a set like this that comes with all the different colors, which is really nice. I like having a 
variety and option to use different ones. So samples are really great. And the label papers, I realized I got all blue labels <laughs> this time. They are really little intricate, detailed, small labels with perforated edges. So you can easily tear out the one that you want. And there's 30 sheets in here. So there's quite a few. We're down to the last few items. So we have some paper here, some collage papers. They have some really cute designs. There's only one of each. I thought these would be really fun for when I don't want to do too much to a spread, but I still want to have a little something because they are pretty busy on their own. They look like a pre-collaged page. So this would be really fun if you don't feel like you're very good at collaging or you're just getting started or you want the look of a collage without dealing with glue and finding all the papers and everything so like you could just literally put this in a journal spread and it would look stunning on its own so i thought that would be really fun to try out and use and they give you quite a few designs there's also some stickers. These are random sciencey washi stickers. They're like off cuts. They're 70 pieces and there's all different designs in there. I don't want them to go everywhere so I won't open them but uh, perfect for adding a little something and they are loose stickers so you can easily share them too. We have these die cut cardstock shapes which are like little specimen frames and animals and insects and things like that. It's a little bit different from what I would usually get, but it's still in my realm of something I think is really cool. So I'm looking forward to using these and trying them out. All right, this is everything that I got. I will be doing a giveaway for some of this stationery. I will be taking a little bit of everything that I bought and making it into a journaling kit and one person will win. Please leave a comment down below on what your favorite item from the haul was and I'll be randomly choosing somebody to win this package and I'll be mailing it straight to them so make sure that you can receive mail from Canada and you enter by commenting down below. You don't have to do anything else but if you'd like to subscribe and be part of the stationery crew on my channel I would absolutely love that but totally not necessary. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope to see you in another video. Bye!